07, I saw Jimi Hendrix smashing the guitar on TV. So I decided to start playing guitar so I could smash it. Probably smashed over 100 guitars. Rockstars have been smashing guitars on stage for decades. Few with more enthusiasm than Swedish heavy metal guitarist Ingve Melmstein. It's an iconic image, a rock star smashing a guitar to pieces while the crowd roars with approval. So I've been smashing guitars since I was seven years old. Yeah. Global engineering company Sandfit is a company that supplies cutting tools and services to the metal cutting industry. They do not specialize in making guitars, but they took this opportunity to demonstrate how advanced and precise the company's techniques are by building the world's first all-metal smash-proof guitar. And to test it, they got Ingve Melmstein to try and smash the hell out of it. Sandvik had to design a guitar that is unsmashable in all the different ways you can smash a guitar. The engineering challenge was to overcome that critical joint between the neck and the body, which usually cracks on a guitar. Engineers overcame this weak spot by eliminating that joint. Instead, the guitar's neck and fretboard were milled from a solid bar of stainless steel as one piece. A guitar construction technique that had never been tried before. Both the neck and fretboard extended into a rectangular hub that would reach deep into the guitar's body. Another challenge arose with how to manufacture the guitar's body itself, which was an extremely complex design due to the need for high strength and low weight. Sambic decided to 3D print the body. Lasers trace the design in beds of fine titanium powder, fusing layers of material one on top of the other. The layers, each thinner than a human hair, built up into the body of the guitar. Unlike the body, the neck is completely stainless steel that has been milled down into a lattice framework to reduce the weight. So the end result is a guitar made from titanium and stainless steel and was designed to hold its form no matter what happens. Once the guitar was complete, the team brought in Ingve Malmsteen to try and smash the hell out of it. I don't think he will succeed smashing this guitar. Today is the day, and I really look forward to seeing Ingve try to smash the guitar. For us, this is really cool to have the whole crowd here to get them look at the guitar that we built together. I think that is a really nice thing. You have to remember that we are not any guitar makers. This is our first guitar ever. To break it is impossible, but you can break other things with it. Really relieved we managed to create an unsmashable guitar. I, I gave everything I had, 200%. Now this guitar was not made for the masses. It was simply a one-off design to see if it can be done and to show off the company's engineering skills. Once that goal had been achieved, the company auctioned it off for 25,000 US dollars and then donated the money to the organization, Engineers Without Borders. The guitar did work and it sounded okay, but the guitar was never made to sound the best as it's not supposed to be a good guitar, just a smash-proof guitar. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.